Hey, how's everybody doing? Thank you for chiming in to House of Truth. All general messages may not resonate, but if you would like a personal soul session, feel free to email me at azariatheintuitive at gmail.com and I'd be happy to assist you with a reading or you can Google House of Truth, leave me a message. I'll get back with you in a 24 hour period. I pray that everybody is okay. Keep it safe, staying protected. It's vital you keep up on your prayers and or meditations to build your own personal relationship. With God and having faith is the number one key. Let me clear some of these energies real quick. <laughs> Clearing all negative energies. Clearing all negative energies. Nothing should be here other, other than what I have summoned. Calling in love. Calling in peace. Calling in light. <laughs> no sis I can't do it no more can't do it no more okay no more okay so a young lady reached out to me right and she wants to know hold on let me find a question Okay, she wants to know why is this fool <laughs> why is this fool still stalking her? She told him it was over yet. Here he is, er day. <laughs> er day on my page. Is he looking to see if that magic he tried is working? Or what the fuck? And what what is he telling his karmics? They are stalking too. I don't even deal with most of them, yet they are watching me okay so let's get started clear mm -mm, can't do it no more okay she wants to know why is this fool still stalking her Queen of Wands in reverse. I mean, sorry, because you're the Queen of Wands and Eight of Swords. This is about being bound, right? Trying to bind you, bound you, bind you, whatever the case may be with the Queen of uh, Wands, uh, with the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Wands. You're very beautiful. You work, you bring home the bacon, you cook the bacon, you eat the bacon, you take care of the kids, the house, the cat. You're very protective too as well and very intuitive. You could be an Aries Leo Sag, take it as it resonates, or you're at operating somewhere out of, uh, somewhere in your charts, okay? Why is this fool still uh, stalking? Why is this fool still stalking? Lovers. This person is wanting to bind you because they feel they love you. And the Queen of Wands came out again. Why is this fool stalking you? Nine of Wands wanting to move forward with a plan or an idea. Because you're not working with them. Or because you're not investing in them. This is about investments. Okay. This is like uh, someone who has lost an invest in some type of investments or, or there has been a withdrawal, a withdrawal. Is that how you say it? <laughs> someone has withdrew. OK. Uh, yeah. Investing in time, energy here. Th this person looks at you as very abundant or you bring something to the table. Yeah. But it's like losing when they lose you. They lose this abundance. 
You know what I'm saying? What's that? One, two, three, four, five. That's the seven of pinnacles in reverse. That's pretty damn good. Seven, eight, nine, three more pinnacles. You be at the ten of pinnacles, right? Yeah. Seven of pinnacles ain't bad. That's abundance. That's a form of abundance, even though it ain't the whole shebang. It's still abundance, and they miss it. Why is this fool stalking? Blockages. Wanting to communicate. You're not communicating with the page of cups. Your feelings. Once again, wanting to move forward. I'm asking why is this fool stalking you? Look at this. Missing out on the opportunity. He looks at you as a blessing. And he's missing out on his blessing. Why is this fool stalking? Hangman hey can't make any type of movement. He know what it is that he should be doing. How he should be acting. How he should be treating you. Right? With the halo here. But he's not doing so. Why is this fool stalking? Two of Cups. This is a spiritual connection. And like I've been saying for years, either your spiritual connections are going to be either a lesson or a blessing. Okay? He could be a Aries Leo Sag. Or operating somewhere out in his charts. Somewhere in his charts, he's operating out of it. Why is this fool stalking? Not wanting you to walk away with the Eight of Cups in reverse. I just wanted to put this out here, right? When I first started doing tarot, I didn't know any meanings. I knew none. None. But it was coming to me naturally, right? And I was rarely wrong. Rarely. <laughs> If I, if I was wrong, it's because I needed to cleanse. But I didn't even know the meanings of the cards. You don't have to know the meanings. It's what comes to you intuitively. The only reason why I learned the meanings is because I wanted to further my education when it came to growth, learning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you don't need to know no meanings as long as you got a connection. You, and if you got a connection that strong, I should have thought better. If you got a connection that strong where you don't even know the meanings, but you're pulling cards and just saying what is coming to you intuitively, I didn't even need them. <clears throat> I fucked up. But anyway, yeah, once again, we're going to ask, why is this fool? Having regrets. There's regrets there that he can't move forward with an idea or a plan and work together with you. That's the three of pentacles coming together, working together, socializing, talking, moving forward with a plan. There's a regret there. All, and he feels like he's missing out on opportunity. Why is this fool stalking? Yeah. The Ten of uh, Pentacles in reverse, losing his abundance. Ten, not wanting the uh, cycles to come to an end. Five, confusion, uh, confusion, fluctuations, which brings about changes when it comes to the Five of Cups, regretting. But what's crazy is there's a regret here, but he got two cups behind him. So he could be dealing with two other women, two other partnerships, okay? Two other relationships. Take it as a resonate. This person was looking at you as their supply, Okay, and losing one of the best supplies he had. Okay, yeah, losing the abundance, the Ten of Pentacles. Now, remember, I told you with the Seven of Pentacles, that's pretty damn good. Yeah, because he looks, he's, what I feel is like, uh, he wants to be at this Ten of Pentacles. And I feel because you fuel him in some shape, form or fashion, you give him or make him uh, feel abundant with this uh, Ten of Pentacles here. But it's in reverse. Once again, I'm asking, why is this fool 
stalking you. Options, didn't I say options? Supply. But it's a spiritual connection here. Like I told, like I was telling you, sis, it's time to evolve. We cannot go back home attached or bound to earthly shit. You're not going to make it. So we got to evolve. Two of cups, options, illusions, delusions. This person could even be dreaming about you. Okay. Once again, I'm asking, why is this fool stalking you? Artis don't want you to walk away because he won't be able to create with your energy. With you around, probably sing better, do better. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker probably singing better, singing his ass off. It gives this uh, energy of confidence. And we all know when you have confidence, it exudes. And when others see your confidence, it draws others in. It draws more supply in, right? can't create the artiste you're his muse he lost his muse okay mm. let's clarify the two of cups clarify the two of cups holy spirit clarify the two of cups no communication losing momentum when it comes to the spiritual connection He's awakened to it. He knows it. Clarify the eight of cups in reverse. Clarify the eight of cups in reverse. Don't want to be cut off with the queen of swords here. <clears throat> yeah. He didn't want you to cut you. He didn't want you to cut him off. Because things are no longer turning in his, in his favor with the will of fortune in reverse. That's what he's hiding. After you walked away, things are going downhill. Now, we're not just talking about on no little bitty app, singing app. We talking about in life, things are not going his way. He was feeding off of your energy. The moon card. He's hiding this. Clarify eight of wands in reverse. Clarify eight of wands in reverse. Holy Spirit, eight of wands in reverse. Losing momentum. No communication. Eight of Wands in reverse. You're not going towards this individual. The star. He, I told you. Wish fulfillment. He can't create. He wants to start a new foundation. Start something over with the page of Pentacles. Communication. Let's start over. Let's lay a new foundation. Let's put the past behind us. Let's start on new grounds. Let's clear the slate. Let's wipe the slate clean. So there's no communication on that. You're not communicating. Clarify the artiste. Clarify 1328. 13 is about sacred sexuality, endings, death, transformation, new beginnings. The artiste is clarified. Look, options are uh, generosity. You were giving to him. That's energy, time, love, compliments was fueling him. And now that you've walked away, he can't create. He can't create. What's the regret? Clarify the five of cups. Clarify the five of cups. Look at that. Lack of victory. Regret. Not feeling victorious because this person is not in your energy anymore. You've walked away. I heard decline. <laughs> Clarify. <laughs> Clarify the six of pentacles. This is about generosity, giving, nurturing, loving, support. Some of them ain't even had the support that they deserve or needed. Clarify the six of pentacles. The queen of pentacles. Feeling abundant. And it could be that what you gave ain't compared to what it ain't no comparison. These Queen of Pentacles in reverse, they have nothing to offer. 
They have nothing to offer. So what I'm also feeling too, I don't know these, you know, they could be like 11, 11 on the damn phone. What's <laughs> what is going on? Okay. But, uh, what I'm feeling is like not being able to create with your generosity. He's, he's coming out as the queen of pentacles in reverse, or he's dealing with, he's, I feel like someone's drawing off a financial type of energy, that type of abundance. See, rich, richness comes in many forms, not just money and material, but it's like almost tapping in. He can't, there's an energy that these women don't have the queen of pentacles in reverse, but he, but you being the queen of pentacles is something about your refinement. He taps into that draws in more supply. These these other tarred heads he's messing with turd heads, tarred heads. I don't care. They lack this quality about them. He taps into your money energy, sis. Like I said, abundance comes in many forms. He can't tap into that type of energy with these squawkers. Squawk, 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 squawk. Yeah. Can't tap into that type of energy. They have nothing to offer like you do. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so you said that's why he's, that's why he's stalking. Man. Okay, and so the next question is clear. Is he doing magic? Remember, magic comes in many forms. You do not need fly wings. You don't need uh, lizard lips. Okay. You don't need mosquito eyeballs. I'm just saying like the shit you sound like. You, you don't need a rabbit's foot. You don't need leg, uh, a frog lungs. I'm just saying you're like all it takes is words. It takes all it takes is words. That's spell work right there. Putting words together. Putting words together out of manipulation. Manipulative words together to to receive an outcome. To receive an outcome when it when it comes to things turning in your favor. Is this man doing spell work? Working hard, working hard, putting in a lot of hard work to keep someone from, com uh, yes, it's creating new foundations or talking to anyone else with the pages, anyone new. That's spell work. Spell work to keep you open. Like, you know, your heart open with the two of swords in reverse. And this is through communication. Don't want you communicating with anyone else when it comes to starting something new. And there's something here that I don't know. It could be form of breadcrumbing. You're like with the two of swords, not making a choice and a decision here to close things off with the two of swords in reverse. So it's like leaving a door open. Door, portal, gateway, in order to come back through with the king of king of cups in reverse. That's a form of manipulation. Emotional manipulation. He doesn't want to be blocked from your guidance. It's something you do. And it could be that you're using your intuition or listening to your spiritual teachings because this is like, how can I do it? The way that I'm looking at it like this, the hermit is facing away, right? And somebody does not want to be blocked off. Wants to keep something open, even though that you are listening to your spiritual teachings and guidance.
ass was this person doing spells on you? Look at that. Yes, Ace of Swords in reverse. Not wanting you to have peace and victory. Now, this is authoritative hand. This is what God gives to us. That peace and victory. That's internal. He wants to disrupt you internally. Yeah. Yeah, because he's not victorious. With the victory card in reverse. Is he doing spell work? Yes. In order for you to give. Because you're, yeah, you're very generous. And because of the fact that you were giving, he wants you to give. And because you withdrew, there's a lack of peace and victory within his life. And you got, this is peace and victory. And then you got victorious that's double time, lack of victory, double time. That's amplified, feeling lost, confused, bewildered. Yeah. Is this person doing spell work? It's verbal spell work. He could be giving someone something here too as well. Generosity. Giving someone so you don't have a victory. Don't want you to have peace and victory. Yes, because he don't want you to block him off, close him off. Want you to leave this energy open. Yes, clarify this six of pentacles. Clarify this six of pentacles. He could be giving someone something here too as well to do this. That's slander, gossip. Six of, six of pentacles clarified. Yes, with the king of pentacles in reverse. Not feeling abundant. Clarify this King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse is clarified within. Yeah, I want to leave the past in the past. And if he's not working along with someone else because the Three of Pentacles ain't came out here yet. It's the fact that you were giving to him and he don't want you to stop with the two. He don't want you to close this off with the Two of Swords because of the fact there's a lack of victory double times. And, and he's blocking his own internal peace and victory that God is trying to give to him. All, all, all because he can't find the strength to go within, do the work, and find his own peace and victory through God. Prayer, meditation. Yeah. And he says, is he looking to see? Yeah, he's. that's the reason why he's watching to see if you feel a certain type of way. If you're happy, if you're sad. Like they pick up on that too. Okay, so the next question is what? Clear. What is he telling the karmics? I see too many people don't really talk about karmics no more. And that's because everybody has a karmic side. Yeah. You can't really, it's hard to talk about motherfucker when you might be in the same, maybe not the extent that these, you know, karmics have went to, but we, we all have went through it. Jealousy, you know, envy. It's all about how you put yourself in check. How you talk to yourself. Do you allow yourself to stay in this energy or do you uplift yourself? Hey, what they can have, I can have too. Shit. I just got to work for it. Ain't no need to be jealous of nobody or envy nobody. I'm just going to put in the work and do it. It's how you relate and relay to yourself. Yeah. Putting yourself in check. What is he telling the karmics? Eight of Cups in reverse. Didn't want you to walk away. I didn't tell her to leave. Here's my 
He didn't want you to walk away. That's a lot. Unrequited love. Unfulfilled. Missing opportunity. Regret. He's telling them this. <laughs> Hey man, like I didn't want her to go. I don't know why she left. What is he telling the karmics? Well, at least he's talking nice about you. What is he telling the karmics? Well, I sure thought it was gonna be something bad. No peace and victory. Uh, once again, don't want you to block trying to find the strength. Right. Either he wants to reciprocate give to you yeah are you he wants you to give to him because of the fact that king of pentacles trying to manifest a new beginning it could be that he wants to reciprocate now okay but not taking that leap of faith trying to start a new beginning but not taking that leap of faith walking away because some unjust shit had happened and that's the reason why you walked away going back and forth playing this balancing act not being and that's the reason why he can't create he's giving the energy that you give him, time, a love, appreciation, support, he goes and gives it to them, the karmics, right, with the nine of cups. He can't create. It blocks his own creation, his creative ability. One of leaving the past in the past. When it comes to you being the wounded warrior, he wants you to heal here. With the world card, don't want the things, want it to come to an end. He just wants you to take a rest, take a little break here. Because he looks at you as his option. He dreams about you. But this also could be a card of delusion, okay? Getting over, don't want to sneak around. So it could be that this person is uh, wanting to come out and tell people. Hey, 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 I love her. I want her around. I don't, you look... Like standing up for the connection here, making a choice and a decision with the two of wands to release toxicity. Lord have mercy. Look here. Sometimes we be looking for the worst and shit, and it's not what it is, but this is what's going on. Yeah. Like he could be telling like the karmics like to leave you alone. And he don't want you to go anywhere. Yes, he loves <laughs> fake busy. <laughs> I can't talk right now. I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's um it's a twisted kind of connection. That's that's just twisted. It's twisted. It's twisted. It's a twisted type of love. But that's what he's telling some of the karmics here. I got to show you who this person is. The one that I was telling you about. Okay. Okay. So, she wants to know, clear, what is his karma? Uh, uh, lack of abundance, lack of creativity. What is going back and forth, juggling, not being able to close cycles out, not being able to take them leap of faiths. What is the karma? Damn, that just bent. On hold with the hangman here. Going back and forth, probably mentally. He need his, he needs that creative uh energy here. What is the karma for treating like this? Oh wow. Confusion. This is about choices and decisions and not doing so with the hangman here. Feeling stuck when it comes to choices and decisions. There's something about your energy that helped him when it came to making choices and decisions. I don't know if you, you know, talked, encouraged, whatever the case may be. Right. Burdens. That's the karma. Feeling burdened due to the lack of choices and decisions to move forward. Judgment. 
is at the bottom of the deck being judged, not being able to create uh, the well. This is like losing. Uh, it could be hasty because of the fact not listening to spiritual teachings and not having the choice and the decision when it comes to uh, knowing what it is that he needs to do. I don't know if this is in life or just on this stupid ass app, but it's like facing judgment here. With the well due to hasty decisions and, and behaviors, the well is like this, like the woman at the well waiting, right? Being patient. OK, but without without that, it's like someone who moves forward in hasty actions, hasty decisions. Yeah. Clarify the well in reverse. And I say the devil. OK, it's codependency, hasty decisions, hasty actions. Right. Clarify judgment. This is his judgment. Clarify judgment. Yeah, the wounded warrior for hurting you. And you're having to heal behind that. You're healing. That's beautiful. Clarify judgment. Mm -hmm. Letting go. Or what is that? The four pinnacles. Letting go. That's the judgment. You letting go and healing. Nine of wands in reverse. Clarify this nine of wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. Dang. Mm-hmm. What is that? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Things not turning in their favor. The King of Swords not being able to stand in one's power. And cutting things off that are not good or that are things that are not servicing them. It's like a state of confusion. Should I let this go? Should I let that go? Well, if it ain't good for you, yeah, you should let it go. Not taking them leaps of faith to cut shit out of your life. Because there's a, 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 um, an air of uncertainty or an air of doubt. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Not communication. Not, no, not moving forward. Things losing momentum when it comes to starting new foundations. This could be like fucking shit up in his life too as well. Especially if he really treated you really bad. Not being able to move. To calmer waters. Yeah, because you got there's a state of confusion. If you know it ain't good for you, then you let it go, right? That's anything in life. Right? That's what I thought. If it doesn't suit your highest good. Wow. She said he should have drank that cup of Acrite. <laughs> he should have drank that cup of Acrite. Yeah. What's the conclusion for this out? What is this? Did she say something else? What is the karmic saying about you? Wow, I'm shocked. What is the karmics? They saying that, hey, hold on, clarify this ten of swords. That's about being stabbed in the back. Yeah, like. Two of cups, what's hidden is two of cups. This ain't a spiritual connection. Well, you know that you're not making the choice and a decision to move forward with the hangman, taking any action when it comes to communicating and moving forward and going back and forth. Yeah, you don't want to be in regret. You're the empress coming out as the empress. And you could be withdrawing yourself or holding back here. Because some things have been revealed with the moon card. Clarify this moon. 
in reverse. Clarify the moon in reverse. Somebody not standing within their power here. Clarify this ten of swords. Enjoying the fruits of one labor. Clarify this ten of swords. So they all talking. Clarify the ten of swords. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. Walking away. So what I'm seeing, feeling is like something's being said about you stabbing this person in the back because of the fact that you're not being generous anymore here where they could be able to enjoy the fruits of their labor. But what's crazy is how can you... Enjoy the fruits of one labor when you ain't putting no work in it to it. You ain't getting no energy. It's a lack of reciprocation, unrequited love. You ain't put shit into it. <clears throat> so that's a contradiction. Cla clarify this nine of pentacles. Clarify this nine of pentacles. Clarify this nine of pentacles. Enjoying the fruits of one labor, okay? And like I said in this card, this is low-hanging fruit, Okay, depending on how the cards lay out, it could be a bad thing too as well. Uh, yeah. Nine of Pentacles here. He sees you prospering here. The well. I also look at the well as a form of hydrating, resting, taking a break. Clarify the well, even though that card is in there. Waiting. Yeah, waiting for his abundance. His blessing. He looks at you as a blessing, Ace of Pentacles. But won't you a party of a three-party energy at the bottom of the deck? This is the Three of Pentacles. Or the Three of Cups, sorry. Get over, pretty much get over it and come join the team. Hold on. Hold on to your love. You got to hold on. Hold on to your love. You got to hold on. Yeah. Hold on tight. Hang on tight. And don't let go. No, no. Don't let go. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, yeah, because things will start turning into his his favor. That's been your reading. I hope that it resonates in some shape, form, or fashion. Please keep yourself protected. Okay. Keep it protected, baby. Don't go over there messing with them people. Don't leave them people alone, baby. Leave them. Just leave them peoples alone. Yeah. Taking care of ourselves before we take care of each other. Bye.